Folks, uh, it's Will back again uh, here at the Black Sheep Puppet Festival, and I am here with uh, Mike Kikaro, who is uh, basically running things here. So, uh, say hi to people. Hey, how's it going? And, uh, well, let's start. Tell us about the, about the festival itself. How long, uh, how long has it been going? Well, this is the 10th annual Black Sheep Puppet Festival. Uh, we're the uh, longest running annual puppet festival in the country. A lot of other festivals only do it every few years. We do it every year, and this is 10 years in a row. So we, we went a little big this year. And uh, normally, it's a, a weekend of shows, maybe a, a week of workshops. But this year, we're doing three weeks of things, uh, 17 days, 28 events, uh, workshops, shows, uh, talks, films, and uh, we're spread out to all over the Pittsburgh area, not just here at the Brew House. Very cool. Now, how did, uh, how did the festival get started? Uh, it started completely uh, grassroots. Some friends had seen a, a similar kind of uh, venues uh, in other cities, and uh, sort of this idea of adult puppet shows, like not just kitty stuff, but, but things that are more uh, exploring the art form and doing kind of weird things. So they just decided we're going to try to put it on and they literally went door to door on the south side to uh, try to get donations and get enough money to uh, put the festival on. And uh, the people who've organized it over the years have, have turned over a couple times. Uh, uh, I've been doing it uh, for about four years now. Very cool. Now, um, are you you're a puppeteer yourself? I am a puppeteer myself. Uh, I don't normally get to perform at the Black Sheep because I'm just too busy doing other things. But uh, yeah, just just throughout the year, you know, when there's opportunities to do shows, um, I'll work with a, with another guy. Very cool. Now, what um, what got you into the uh, into the craft? Um, it was actually, it was a mutual friend of, there's a, there's a puppeteer who, um, his name's Tom Sarver and he's been a, uh, doing puppet shows for a really long time and he's been an organizer since the festival started and a mutual friend of ours knew that uh, I did music and he, uh, she actually thought that uh, we should work together. And uh, so I just started by doing music, then I started helping with scripts, then I started performing more, and then we became much more of a, of a partnership and created all the shows in tandem. Very cool. Now, uh, you said you're going to be uh, doing this for three weeks. Three so. weeks. Uh, we started on the 10th of October, and we go until the 26th. Excellent. Very cool. Now, um, we are, uh, like I said, we're here at the Brew House in Pittsburgh, and uh, it's, uh, we're in the gallery currently, and as you can see, Behind us, uh, Miss uh, Magarak, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. And she's been um, she's been all over Pittsburgh, uh, uh, Market Square. Yeah, there was an event uh, in the summer called Magarak Attack as part of the Pittsburgh 250 uh, thing because uh, Joe Magarak is uh, sort of a tall tale character from Pittsburgh, like Paul Bunyan, mm -hmm. uh, steelworker guy. And uh, so they had four different groups from different neighborhoods, each make their own Magarak. And then they all converged on Market Square and uh, had a big, uh, I think they had a tug of war. Nice, very cool. And uh, she's uh, currently being operated by uh, Ms. Veronica here. They provide an excellent backdrop for her interview. So um, now if, uh, if people want to come down and participate, uh, where can they find out uh, more information about the festival? Uh, BlackSheepPuppet.com and uh, we have uh, a lot of open workshops. Um, there will be an artist in residence who is going to help people to make large puppets. Probably not this large, but maybe uh, this large. Um, and we also have a performance evenings where we have puppeteers who are coming from all over the country uh, and we had a performer last week from Taiwan we have people coming from we don't have any more international performers this year but uh, there's big big shows on uh, the final weekend of the festival the 24th and 25th 
And most people know that the, the black sheep puppet shows are pretty wild, they're pretty crazy. Uh, uh, they're a cabaret style show, it goes like five hours, you get a beer, you can walk in and out with your beer. They're kind of uh, very audience uh, participatory, not like you have to stand up and do something stupid, but like the audience is always really engaged with the shows. And it's, it's, uh, the people who come, come every year and it just becomes their usual thing in October. Very cool. Well, folks, uh, we're going to have a lot more coverage of the uh, Black Sheep Puppet Festival. Um, it's, uh, it's been a blast so far, and uh, thank you for talking to us. Sure. Awesome.